Hello, this is Chris, or Charlie, Sierra, Tango, Golf, Papa, Alpha. Today we're going to edit this picture of Amy Dodgson, one of my favourite models. <coughs> we're going to put a new background in and do a bit of skin smoothing. So, let's start first by taking the quick select tool, making sure it says plus up here, and we will roughly select Amy like so, and like so. Okay, as you can see we've got a little blip here, so we take that out with the minus. Good. Uh, we just need to take that off. Okay. And uh, now we have to go back again. Let's just make that a little smaller, which is the square arrow, a uh, square bracket. There we go. A square arrow. What was I talking about? All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's just. Again, make it a little smaller, square bracket, push, and let's just select this bit here, and this bit here. But we don't want that bit there, so there we go. Okay, now, nice thing about CS5 is the refine edge. You can see where my cursor is, so I'm going to press that. And there it is. Now, make sure the smart radius is clicked. And you can view it in different ways. You can view it on black, which wouldn't be much point. As that's what we've got it on now. You can view it on white. You can do it as an overlay. You can do it on black. Just see the mask itself. Or you can see it on the layers, and we've got no layers there, or you can just see, reveal that layer. But what we're going to do is on white just so we can see it. Um, let's click that so that goes back. Okay, now we're leaving these like this for the moment, and you change the sizes up here. So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger just so I can go around the edge. And now we go around the edge here, roughly. There we go. And again up here. Black against black is always harder to do, but it'll work. Now in this instance, you don't have to worry too much, because the layer I'm going to put on, or underneath it, I'm going to reduce the opacity, All right, done. and <clears throat> by reducing the opacity, you'll st see part of the layer underneath. I can't find that. Oh, okay. Let's do it one more time. Let's not decontaminate. We don't need to decontaminate the colours. There we go. Okay, that probably will work pretty good. Let's just do this again. Okay, let's have a look at that. Now, I'm going to do, you can output it in different ways, and I'm going to do a new layer with a layer mask, okay? So I click OK. OK. <clears throat> All right. There we have it. So as you can see, we have a mask down here now. And that's the original layer. Now the background layer I'm going to reinstall 
because I'm going to select it now and using a texture I took of, of a bark bark of a tree um, uh, then I made it in black and white and blurred it slightly this is the one we're going to use so we select it all select all edit copy or control C and then we're going to go back to Amy and we're going to paste that and by selecting the background image and when we go edit paste it will paste it right above so now you can see it here's the background layer if I take that away and it's at a hundred percent opacity now I want to change that I don't want it to be a hundred percent opaque I want to take some of the background and bring it darker and just change the background slightly there we go yes I like that now let's look at the hair do we need to change the mask I don't like what's happening up here very much so let's have a look at that and what I've done there by the way is hold my left mouse down, down yes this could be tidied up a little bit so let's click on the mask make sure that the mask is clicked then we're going to get the paintbrush and I've selected here as you can see the hardness and I want soft so that's what I'm going for and a little smaller than that so I'll just change that down a little bit that's good and now we want to make sure it's selected black which it is and let's just paint over the top of that and get rid of those nasty bits there and there and as you can see I'm just painting slightly over the top and notice the opacity is 73 so it's just there we go um, that's alright this looks a bit blotchy this looks a bit blotchy ok now let's have a look up and see what else we've got everything else looks pretty good left bracket key and that makes it smaller and there we go so let's have a look at it full size now that looks better doesn't it okay so I think I think we'll accept that the way it is and I'm going to flatten the image 